Oh no! Oh. This is not exactly what I had in mind. Come on, Ginger! Where are we going in such a big hurry, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? To the whole big wide world of Friendship Club! Angel Cake! Come on, Angel Cake! Quick, quick, quick! Be right down! Orange Blossom! Hey, Orange! Come on! Hurry! Let's go! So what's this all about, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? Yes, yeah, Strawberry. What's going on? What do you want to tell us? A very exciting thing has happened, and I couldn't wait to share it with you. You remember last week when we wrote friendship letters? Sure we remember. Well, I just got an answer back from one of those faraway friends. Goodness sake, Strawberry Shortcake. What did they say? Read it, Strawberry. Tell us what it says. Her name is Crepe Suzette, and she lives far, far away. One, two, three, four, Rue de la Rue, to be exact. She's invited me to come visit her. You're not actually thinking of going, are you, Strawberry Shortcake? I want to very much. Well, great gobs of pumpkin pudding. You can't just pack up and go see this kid. Why not? You don't know anybody there. That place is full of strangers. And kids who live in different lands are... Well, they're different. But that's what's great about meeting new friends. You get to learn all about them. And I could give her a button from our friendship club. I travel all around the world to meet a brand new friend. And as I met them one by one, I'd proudly recommend. Join the club, the friendship club. It's a big, wide world of friends. You can find a friend any place on Earth. Friendship's in your heart and not your place of birth. So a me or me, amigo, a me, chi, pal, or bob, let's invite them all to join our friendship club. Join the club, the friendship club. Strawberry, I think we need to talk. About what, Custard? About this trip. What if your friends are right? What if these strangers are, you know, strange? Oh, I'm very sure they are. No, I mean it, Strawberry. What if... <gasps> they are? You, you agree they're strange? Yes, that's why I want to meet them. To find out about them. Then they won't be strangers ever again. Isn't it awfully exciting? But I don't like exciting. I like things nice and quiet and calm. Just think, over the next hill and across the next sea, there's a whole new world of friends just waiting to be met. Just how far away is this faraway place, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? Couldn't say exactly, Ginger Snap. How long are you going to stay? Don't know precisely, Angel Cake. But when will you be back? As soon as the adventure's over, Orange Blossom. Sorry, Pupcake. If we take your chew toy, there won't be room for my nap pillow. Oh, the things I do for my friends. Ready, Custard? Ready, Pupcake? Ready as I'll ever be. So long for now. See you soon. You have a safe voyage, you hear me, Strawberry Shortcake? Don't forget to ride. Come back soon. Bye. See ya. We'll miss you. Hurry, hurry. Bye. 
Hi, but the world is very beautiful from here. Don't you want to see Custard? Oh, yeah. Oh, Custard, I hope you're not afraid of heights. No, thank you very much. I am not. Yeah. Oh, I'm terrified of heights. How about a game of cloud pictures to take your mind off it? It's very fun. You find clouds that look like other things. See that one over there? I think it looks kind of like a strawberry. You're right, Pupcake. That one looks like a dog bone. And that one looks like the nice, big, cozy, comfy nap pillow I left back at home on the ground. Don't worry, Custard. We'll land before long in a place like we never saw before. Just remember, over the next hill and across the next sea, there's a whole big wide world of new friends just waiting to be met. Custard! Pupcake! Look, we're here! It's so big and so different. We'll stay close together, won't we, Strawberry? Of course. You know I'll always stay at your side. That's what friends do for friends. Thanks, Strawberry. Hey, what's that tall, pointy, sharp thing? That's gotta yeah. be the Pifle Tower! Oh. <gasps> We're going to crash! Strawberry! Hold on, everybody! I want to the sandbags for ballast. It'll help us land. <laughs> Are you two okay? <laughs> More or less. Looks like we caused a little traffic jam. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Let me up. Let me up. Phew. It's nice of you to lend a helping hand. There I was. Shopping, of course. And kerflump! You come dropping in out of the sky right into the street and... Forgive me. My friends say I am too dramatic sometimes. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, maybe. Do you know where 1234 Rue de la Rue is? But of course! 1234 Rue de la Rue is where I live. Are you Crepe Suzette? Yes, it's me! You must be Strawberry Shortcake. Was that you yapping, Pupcake? <laughs> Whoa! An attack squirrel with a bad hairdo! Yikes! But that is no squirrel. That is my eclair. Say pardon, Mademoiselle Chat. Sorry, Miss Cat. Eclair is my pet poodle, you see. Oh. This is Custard, and oh. that's Pupcake. We've come all the way from Strawberry Land. And you must be very tired. Won't you come to my house? <sighs> Voila! This is my store. Voila? What does that mean? It means... There you have it. What beautiful dresses you make. Merci, which means thank you. I used to do some flowers, but they are such an old style. And daisies on dresses, they are terribly passé. But I simply love berries, all berries. They shall be this year's pattern. What do you think? Don't you love them too? I sure do. You see, Custard? We're alike in a lot of ways, aren't we? Crepe Suzette is okay, I guess. But I don't know about that dog of hers. Hello! <laughs> Let's go inside. I'm so glad you could come. It's wonderful to make a new friend. That reminds me. I want to invite you to join our... <laughs> Friends helping friends? No, 
No, no, no! I will find Eclair myself! But I don't even know where to start looking! Pupcake! I was so worried about you! I mean, mad! Mad at you! You hear me, Poopcake? Never do that again! Anyway, now we can get back to Strawberry. If only we knew where back was. Don't worry, I'll stay at your side. That's what friends do, right? Like Strawberry says. Custard! Custard! Cupcake! I sure hope they're okay. Hey, Claire! You're lucky I'm here to take care of you. Pupcake? Pupcake, where are you now? There you are. Pupcake, please don't do that anymore. Oh no, not again. Can't you make her understand we're lost? Guess we got a language problem. Give me a hand, poop cake. <laughs> the poor little thing. <laughs> Hold on, we can't help her now. Come on, quietly now. It's okay. We'll help you. Shh. Are they all so dramatic here? You watch for the dog catcher. I'm working on it, Pupcake. Quick, quick! On the bus! 
Hmm. Well. They were just here. Where did they go? Custard, eclair, poop cake. <laughs> Custard, poop cake, eclair. Stop, thief! <gasps> I don't know how to drive! Do you? Disaster! Calamite! Ah, but I am not helping, am I? I must remain calm. What can I do, Strawberry? Ah! Stop! Run! Run, run! <laughs> Voila. How do you say look out? Attention! 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 How will we ever stop? I think it's this thingy here, but I can't move it. When I say pull, let's pull. I'm no expert, but I'm thinking that can't be good. Crepe, can you push the brake while I steer? Custard and Pupcake and Eclair can help you. We can surely try. But which one is it? I don't know. Try any of them. Whoa! Try another one! That's it! I knew we could do it. Together! And right in front of my shop. We are very good. Ah, oh, Strawberry, I wish I had listened to you from the first. Friends should let friends help. <gasps> merci, monsieur. Thank you, sir. Oh, merci, mademoiselle. Good night, sir. Bonsoir, monsieur. Hmm. You must stay here with me tonight. Oh, I can't do that. After all we've done? But friends let friends help, no? Yes, and thank you. Merci. Our clothes are ruined. Let me get you a clean outfit to wear. Try on this dress. Try on this hat. I never guessed you'd look so different just in that Like when two friends aren't friends at first They turn around and soon they found the views reversed My friend Mona me many thanks, merci Thanks for taking time to let our friendship start My friend Mona me thanks you for me Merci, you'll see you opened up my door and then my arms Two different worlds, two different styles but stitch together, they can weave a million smiles. And when we try to understand, the road seems smoother because we're walking hand in hand. My friends, mon ami, many thanks, merci. You know friends can come in every shape and size. My friend, mon ami, thanks once more. Merci encore, we'll see more with our hearts and with our eyes. My friend, mon ami, many thanks, merci. Au revoir. We'll see you soon. Well, yeah, I think so. Oh, fresh and home baked. Stop, Bowie! Whoa! Oh, no! Bravo! Again! <laughs> oh, Apple Dumpling. Sorry. Now some of these cookies are ruined. What do you want, Apple Dumpling? I want to help, Star Bowie. Oh, well, no. I, I don't think so, Apple Dumpling. 
Aw, oh, please. You're a little too... little, you know? Why don't you sit and watch us cook, okay? Okay... <sighs> we can show you all about cooking! How's that sound? All white strawberry. First, we'll start with some very important kitchen safety rules. Number one, and most very important of all, always ask a grown-up before you do anything in the kitchen. Next, be sure to read through the whole recipe before you start, so you can make sure you have all the ingredients and all the supplies you need. And be sure to wash your hands with soap and water before you touch the food. When you measure the ingredients, be sure to do it very carefully. Always follow each and every step of the recipe. Wash all fruits and vegetables before you use them. Be careful, because some foods, like meat and chicken and eggs, can have germs on them. Use different knives and cutting boards when you're fixing these. And wash your hands when you're done fixing them. You gotta remember to keep cold foods cold and hot foods hot. That keeps germs from growing. If there's leftover food, cover it and store it in the refrigerator or freezer. Always wear the right clothes, like shoes and an apron. If you have on long sleeves, push them up. Oh, and make sure your hair's out of the way. Never try to put anything in the oven without an adult's help. Hot food in the oven and the stove can cause very painful burns. So we use oven mitts or pot holders to protect our hands. Turn the handles of pots and pans away from you so you don't accidentally knock them over. And make sure those handles aren't over a burner. They can get very hot. And clean up as you go. It's much easier and much safer that way. And now, if everybody's ready, ready, let's wash our hands and get going. What now, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? Where do we start? What do we do first? Well, we... Now I help. <laughs> I don't think you're ready quite yet. Apple Dumpin' wanna learn. Well, maybe you could help a little bit. You can help, um... I know, you can help by getting the wax paper ready, okay? We need just enough to cover this tray. Uh-oh. I got it, I got it! Don't got it. Watch out! Get it! Yay! Oh. Mm. Almost had it. I got it! There it goes! Whoops! That enough? Yeah. I think that's plenty, Apple Dumplin'. Oh, Dumplin', just look at the mess you made. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Sorry. I think maybe she's helped enough, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? But I... Maybe it'd be better if you just watched, Apple Dumplin'. Wanna help? Why don't you find a place where you won't get into trouble? But, yeah, maybe you ought to take a nap, huh? Isn't it about nap time? But I'm not sleepy. Maybe you ought to wait over there, Apple Dumplin'. You know, working in the kitchen can be dangerous. Yeah, it's not a job for babies. Angel Cake? Apple Dumplin', not a baby. <laughs> There's nuts I can do. If they let me. I am not. <sighs> oh, a baby. I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not They think I'm little, just a tiny tot But I'll show them that I'm not too small And I can do any, any, anything at all Cause I'm not little, not too little Oh no, I'm not Watch how I can tie my shoes Wait, I'll try again I know how to count to ten One, five, nine, six, ten I do lots of fake girl things like run and jump and play it's plain to see, I'm practically grown up in every way. I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. I wish they'd trust me to stir the pot. Cause I'd show them that I'm not too small. And I can do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. 
know 50 rainbow colors, red, blue, green, and red. I can take my big red ball and bounce it off my head. Ow! I pick flowers like the grown-ups do and roll downhill all day. And did I mention how I love to run? Treat me a little, but I'm not a lot. If I show them that I'm not too small, they'll let me do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. I can pick out my own clothes myself. I can wiggle my own toes myself. I can climb up on the couch myself. Make the pillows like a kangaroo's pouch myself. Then I can crawl inside myself. And close my eyes and hide myself. And dream of things to be tried myself. I'm not too little, not too little. Thank you. 
movies? How about you watch Apple Dumpling cook? That's much, much better. Someday you can cook too when you're big, like me. You're a little too little, not big like me. Just a little bit little, but I guarantee that one day you'll be big and tall. And you'll have no cares at all. Like me, like me. When you're big like me. You're just an itty too bitty, don't reach too high. But it isn't a pity, and I'll tell you why. Soon you'll reach the tallest shelf. to make the cake get big. <gasps> Baby Orange Blossom! Oh, please be careful. Okay. Now, where was Apple Dumpling? Oh, baking powder to make the cake get big. I put in a little more, to be sure. There, that will do it. I've got my oven mitts on. In goes the cake. There. Whoa, ooh, ah. Apple Dumplin' will yell for... Help! 
Owie, what's Help. the matter? Strawberry! Strawberry pickle! What's going on, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? We heard a scream. Is everything all right in Did here? Did you have a bad dream, Apple Dumpling? Ginger Snap, Angel Cake, Orange Blossom, you okay? Well, sure we're okay. Why wouldn't we be? But how about you? Are you okay, Apple Dumpling? Apple Dumpling not cook anymore. What's that all about, huh? Do you know? No idea at all. Couldn't tell ya. Some things Apple Dumpling too little to do. For now, maybe, but not for always. And besides, there are some very important things you can do. Like your all-time favorite. What that, Strawberry? Licking the spoon. Yeah, <laughs> Apple Dumpling good at that. <laughs> Why don't you sit here and watch while we make you a nice ice cream sandwich? Hooray! Remember, the first thing to do is always ask a grown-up for permission. Now what, Strawberry? Now what? Now we cover a tray with wax paper. And we set out six cookies, bottom side up. Now we use some ice cream. We left it out a while, so it's kind of soft. We add a scoop on top of each cookie, just like this. Then we add another cookie, top side up, on each one, and we press them together. Then we cover the whole thing with more wax paper. And we put them in the freezer until they're good and frozen again. About two hours. Here's some we already made. Now what's strawberry? right now what? Well, now we eat them. Yummy. Here you go, Apple Dumpling. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Thank you, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Mmm, looks delicious. My favorite. I can't believe it. They didn't drop a single bit. Okay. No, but I did find a special pet treat just for you. I knew you wouldn't forget us, Strawberry. <laughs> oh, why can't I? What a windy day. You can sure say that again, Custard, my friend. Okay, what a windy day. A very windy day indeed. What? And just what precisely exactly is that? Hey, are you okay out there? <coughs> when I open the window, you slide down. Yeah! Oh. Goodness, what happened? Are you all right? Well, I've been blown miles and miles, of course, and the queen's going to be furious. But otherwise, I'm just fine. I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and this is my friend Ginger Snap, and this is Custard, and that's Pupcake over there. <laughs> I'm Sherry Bobbleberry, FWFPFC. Fairy World Fairy Princess First Class? Fourth Class. <sighs> and after this, Oh, I'll never make first class. What happened to you, huh, Sherry Bobbleberry? I was on an errand for the queen. Very important errand, mind you. Delivering a gift for a baby hummingbird. I, I speak hummingbird, you see. N not many do. <laughs> <laughs> then the wind caught me and blew me out of the berry fairy fields and all the way here. Problem is, it was a sort of test. The queen doesn't think I'm ready to be promoted. Don't ask me why. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. I don't think we have to ask why. I'll never be a fairy first class. Oh. I'll never get that tiara. Sounds like you need to have some more faith in yourself. Oh, I forgot. What a goof. Oh, how could I forget? Forgot what? Up, up there in the mountains. The snow is melting and the river's rising. Water everywhere. There's going to be a flood. Have to get back. Have to warn. <gasps> but I can't. I'll just get blown off course again. The whole berry fairy world will be flooded. Oh, what a useless goof I am. We could help her get back, couldn't we? She could show us the way. Do you think, Strawberry Shortcake, what if she gets us lost? She needs our help, Ginger Snap. Oh, 
how far are the berry fairy fields? They're just past Buttermilk Forest. Then we hang our right at Jellybean Hill. Or is it left at the hill right at the forest? Or just past Rock Candy Canyon? Um, you do know where you live, don't you, Sherry Bobbleberry? Of course. Right this way. Huh? Hmm, maybe not right this way. You said you speak hummingbird. Maybe you could ask her. Well, you know, I only sort of speak it. Sort of lot or sort of little? Sort of, don't know. See, no fairy has ever spoken to the hummingbirds before. I'm just trying to learn. Maybe now's a good time to give it a try. Guess it couldn't hurt. I excuse me, little hummingbird? She said, the berry fairy fields are right over Gumball Bluff. Just a little farther. We're almost to the top. Just a few more gumballs. Ugh, yep, I can see the top I can. You can do it. We made it. We're at the top. Sherry, we'll find a way out of this. We're all okay. Looks like the storm's letting up, huh? For a while, anyway. When the snow melts, it's gonna really flood the berry fairy fields. How much further is it? It's right down at the bottom of this hill. You can fly, Sherry, but it's gonna take us a while to get there. Maybe. And maybe not. If there was something we could use as a sled, so you could slide down the hill. Got it! I'll build a sled out of what we have here. Come on, give me a hand. That ought to... <clears throat> Do it. Is it gonna hold together? Only one way to find out. Climb on, everybody. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> We made it! Woohoo! What a sled! Do I know how to build them or what? How do you stop this thing anyway? No, I forgot something. Ginger, what happened to you? What happened to us? What happened to you? Either the berries grow awful big around here or... We shrunk! You had to become smaller to fit into my world. Come with me. Oh my goodness! Wow, would you look at that, huh? Amazing, huh? Look! More pretty berries! And just look at all the creatures helping out! No one from your world has ever been here. You're not supposed to even know about it. Sherry! Sherry Bobbleberry! Oops. Sherry, where are you? That'd be Fairy Most Berry Fairy Chief, Perry Winkle Pear Blossom. Sherry Bobbleberry, where have you been? And, and, and who are they? These are my friends. I, I brought them here after they... You brought outsiders to the fairy world? That's against the rules! But they helped me, Periwinkle, to get back so I could warn everyone about... Rules have been broken! The Queen will be told! Oh, please, Periwinkle. Not that! If she knows I goofed again, I'll never get promoted! I'll never get my tiara! But you have important news for her! <laughs> 
fairies don't talk to the queen. It's against the rules. Only I talk to the queen. What am I going to do now? Don't worry, Sherry. We'll think of something. What if you warn them, one by one, what's about to happen? Do you think I can? I mean, I'm... Uh, excuse me, please. Oh, I'm such a goof. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta have some faith in yourself, Sherry. But I wouldn't know where to start. Why don't you start with them? Okay, I'll try. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Go on. Keep trying. Excuse me! I have to warn you, there's a... Oh, it's just Sherry. Don't pay any attention to her. Such a little goof. Please, you have to listen. It's important that... Strawberry, it's hopeless. Why did I ever think I could do it? You can do it. I know you can. And I know I can't. Everything I touch turns into mush. Every berry that I pick, I crush. Each balloon I hold, it pops. I pick up a plate, it drops. Everything I touch turns into mush. Everything I touch turns into mush. All my best laid plans I have to flush. I am such a gawky goof. I should be more sherry proof. Everything I touch turns into mush. I'm an accident waiting for a turn. I'm unsafe at any speed. If they gave out a prize, the only one I'd earn would be most least likely to succeed. <sighs> Everything I touch turns into mush. I put my finger in the dike. It starts to gush. I'm so clumsy, don't you know? I get trip and stuff your toe. It's enough to make a fairy blush. How everything I touch turns into mush. But there's so much good I'm longing to do. Such wonders I want to achieve. If only I could change, be somebody new. But for this faulty fairy, it's so hard to believe. Everything I touch turns into mush. Lady Luck has given me the brush. What could I be doing wrong? Who can help me sing this song? Tell me, am I asking all that much? That everything I touch doesn't turn into mush. What's that, Strawberry? An invitation to a royal party for Her Royal Highness, Queen of the Fairies, on her birthday. It says everyone in the fairy world is invited to bring a gift. Sherry! I think I found the answer to our problem. Really? Fairies of the fairy world, you may now present your presents to Her Royal Highness, the Fairy Queen! Do you think she can pull this off, huh? Do you, Starby Shortcake? I sure hope so. Next! Your Majesty, I... I... Bobbleberry, where's your gift for the Queen? <gasps> Go on, Sherry. Well, I don't have one. But I do have something I... <gasps> I have something more important. What could be more important than a gift for the Queen's birthday? My warning! You see the creek beyond the field? Beyond the field? But fairy fairies are not supposed to go there. The wind blew me off course and I... <laughs> Why should the queen listen to a fourth class fairy who can't stay on course? She should listen because Sherry has something important to say. Go on, Sherry. What's the point, Strawberry? She wants to tell you the creek is rising and there's going to be a terrible flood. And you saw this with your own eyes, did you? Well, no, not me. Not exactly. <laughs> you see, Strawberry? Hopeless. Sherry, come back! <laughs> Sherry? <laughs> They're right. 
right. I'm a goof. Just a goof. <laughs> but you can't just give up, you know. You still have to try to warn them. I did try, and you saw what happened. They laughed at me. <gasps> Strawberry, look! Oh, no! What's happening? It's the flood! Come on! You're right, Sherry! It's gonna flood the whole fairy world unless we stop it! Do you think we can, Ginger Snap? If we build a dam here to here, it might keep the water in the creek, but I can't promise. We have to try, so let's do it! Periwinkle? Of course, Your Highness. I was just going to suggest that. The flood, Your Highness, is coming closer and quickly. It's spreading over the fields even now. Oh, not again. Don't try to scare us. There's not a cloud in the sky. We saw it too. If you don't get ready now, you're going to be in awful trouble. What should we do, Sherry? We can dig ditches and build dams and keep the water out of our homes. Can we do this in time? With all of us working together, yes. Maybe the hummingbirds can help too. Ha! Hummingbirds, and I suppose Sherry will ask them for us, eh? Yes, I will. As your highness knows very well, no fairy can talk to hummingbirds. <coughs> <laughs> this is a waste of her highness's royal time. Sherry can't talk to. <coughs> hum, 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 hummingbirds? Sherry Bubbleberry. Tell us what to do. We have to protect the city. Come with me! We have to build a dam here. Good and high and now! And a ditch here, a deep one. We need sandbags here, here and here! Not gonna work in a million, billion, trillion, zillion years. <sighs> Your Royal Highness is getting her royal self dirty. Oh, quit talking and help us, Periwinkle. That's just what I was going to do. Oh, my! Out of time. Oh, this is it. It's coming! The flood's coming! Everyone, get out of the way! Doubt her, Periwinkle? <laughs> Shh! 
Sherry Bobbleberry. I hereby proclaim you FWF PFC, Fairy World Fairy Princess, First Class. You got your tiara, Sherry. You did it. I did, Strawberry. I did do it. When the wind blew with great force And a fairy named Sherry Bobble Berry Was blown away, of course What a fateful air it proved to be As the makings of a flood she'd seen So she sailed on the sled to the fairy fairy fields To warn all the fairies and their queen The legend of Sherry Bobble Berry Fairy Princess, fourth class Would she save her queen from a flood so near Would safety come to pass in the fairy world of the fairy vines, no fairy would believe her. And the royal queen of the fairies herself refused to even receive her. So she flew to the belly of the flooding muddy beast and her friends helped build a dam. But when that was not enough, she wasn't bothered in the least. It was a chance to prove who I am. So she flew back to the queen saying, now see what I mean, and together they all stopped the flood. 